The Tidball Taste Tour is back. Uh, the Tidball Taste Tour tonight, we're here with a mainstay. Mm -hmm. One not so mainstay. Am I being fired? Well, <laughs> might be on its way. Okay. Uh, what we've got tonight is the Linen Kugels Sunset Wheat. This is their, uh, their flagship beer uh, from Chippewa Falls, Miss Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, since 1867. So, that's... It's a twist, actually. Okay. It's my favorite. So, let's give the Lion Kugels a try. I have not had this beer very often. I've had it a couple times. I don't know that you've had it. And uh, I have had it. I don't remember it, though. Okay. And uh, I know that you... Enjoy it I, a decent it's, amount. It's honestly one of. I'm not a big beer drinker, but I, when I do drink beer, no, I do. I this prefer. is yeah, I prefer a Lion Kugel's Sunset Wheat. No, it's actually quite good. It seriously tastes like fruity pebbles. It does have. That's one yeah. thing I like about it. It's got like, it Fruit like, Loops, Fruity Pebbles. It's if you marry, if it. you put Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles and mixed it with a hint of like a blue moon, it's that's not. What it it's like. not. So here's the thing. It's not sweet. It's, it's not sweet. A, it's not like what you would get from like a apple, uh, like a hard cider. No, it's not like that. Or anything. It's or a right. like a florist beer or a woodchuck, anything like that. It's just it's kind of got a, an aroma. It's that it's really good for summer. Definitely, it's, it's fruity, fruity pebbles. pebbles or fruity pebbles. Yeah. I like that. It, that's yeah. wheat beer, fruity pebbles. Yeah, it, it really like is. Fruity pebbles and wheat beer. And, it's, and it's, I like the idea of them combined. It's nice, and I also like this, that it's nice and light. It's not a heavy beer that you know weighs you down or fills you up anything. It's actually just a very relaxing, easy. Um, as far as the rating for this goes, as we said, I mean, there's really not much more to say. It's got the mouthfeel in the body of like a shock top. It's a little lighter mouthfeel than a blue moon or like something like that as far as wheat beers go, a Who Garden or whatever. Actually, kind of similar to Who Garden maybe. Anyways, shock top, something like that on the mouthfeel. The flavor is, take that, take like a shock top light and mix it with uh, invisible ground up fruit loops or fruity pebbles or something of that nature, and that's really what it tastes like. The invisible kind. Yeah. <laughs> Grab the invisible kind. Get the invisible kind at the supermarket. <laughs> they'll just they'll charge you the same for it. Uh, I mean, I'll give it a. Uh, I mean, I'll give it a six. Um, I I like it. Uh, I don't see this ever as a beer that I personally would drink a lot it's really of. Really not your style. It's it's. It's a little too rich for me. It's a little too, um, just, f it's a little too just fruity. I mean, <laughs> if I want something fruity, I'd much rather go with, like, a cider or something. But it's worth a six. It's a good beer. It just, you know, if you like the flavor we just described, maybe you'll like it. I'm going to give it an 8.5. I figured it'd be up there. I mean, I like my hard ciders and everything, but this is just, this is something that I would go out and get a six-pack of. I think you have, actually. I'm just saying, hypothetically speaking, they don't follow me everywhere, they don't know. <laughs> but no, this is definitely one that I would want to keep back on a summer date with. I really do enjoy this. I'm going to go with five and a half. Five and a half? Really? It's, it's not, not so much? It's not It's bad. not your style? Yeah, it's it's alright though. Yeah, it's just I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would not enjoy drinking it. Right. I if it was like, the last thing there and you were broke, you'd be like, yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I, I would be like real disappointed if I had to drink some. And I feel like we we beat this this point to death, but if it was a hot summer day, it'd be nice. But, I'd you know, like water, I, I'd rather drink, I'm, I'm going to drink beer, I'd rather drink something lager, lighter, or something like that. Yeah, it's a 6.0 for think, me. I think it also definitely, I mean, the bottle looks fine, but it definitely needs to be opened up. You get more fruity pebbles on, that on way. On draft, it's very fruity pebbles. All right, so a 5.5, a 6.0, an 8.5. This is the Linen Kugel Sunset Wheat. Uh, if you're living in, in anywhere in the United States, you've probably seen this. Uh, check it out if you like what we described. If you like really fruity tasting wheat beers, check it out. Tidwell Taste Store will be back with more. Any closing comments? The just made one. All, <laughs> this, all that said, me, yeah. Done? Good? Everything? Sayonara. <laughs> we'll be back! Yikes. <laughs>